Hey, what's up my ninja? Shinobi here with another Diablo 3 video for you guys. And this is a extra special video because we have word of an expansion. Oh my god, an expansion. Reaper of Souls is what it's called. It was rumored for a little while. It was going around Reddit and all this stuff. And, and I didn't believe it at first because uh, a lot of people were saying, make a video about it, make a video about it. And I was like, no, not until we know for sure. And then Gamescom happened and now we know for sure that the new expansion is Reaper of Souls. Now there's a lot of new features in this expansion. Um, right now I want to say this before I get into all this information that we are limited on information about these things and other things that will be implemented in the expansion. So keep that in mind when you're watching the video and keep that in mind for when you're waiting for the expansion to come out. I think that they'll release a lot more information at BlizzCon. Well that's probably just guaranteed. Uh, however there are some things they left out uh, so far and I'm I'm really excited to see, you know, what the future is of this and all that. And I have a little speculations that and some opinions about this as well too in this video. Uh, so let's get into the first thing, which is the new class. We knew they were going to come out with a new class. That's so just kind of everybody was kind of seeing that coming. We we all knew. We all counted it. We're like, okay, two int classes, two dex classes, one strength class. Hmm, what class is going to come out next? So they have the Crusader, which is kind of similar to the Paladin, uh, just from the way that I've seen it look so far. Like I said, very limited information on what's out right now, but just from a perspective of myself looking at it, it's what it kind of looks like, and that's not a bad thing. I think that's really cool. However, um, we kind of saw this coming, and uh, the next thing was the Act 5. Now, Act 5 is kind of the new thing, the new force that we're going up against here. Right now we have Acts 1 through 4. Act 5 is probably going to be just as big as 1 through 4 combined. Um, however, I want to make sure that the end game is going to be really good with this. I'm excited for the expansion, definitely, and I'm going to definitely purchase the expansion. I'm going to do the beta, and I'm going to release videos for you guys like crazy, like I always do. I'm going to try and break records first, like I did in the last Diablo 3, and get videos on YouTube before anybody else. I'm going to do all that stuff, and I'm looking forward to it for sure. However, uh, the way that Diablo 3 kind of went down with them pushing off PvP and with this and that and not putting out patches and people being upset, that's why I'm a little skeptical on some of this stuff because Blizzard really needs to deliver with this expansion. If they can't do that, this game is over. If the expansion is not what people think, the game is done. There's nothing they can do to survive. So this is their big last hurrah in my opinion but I hope that the end game is going to be really good with this they have talked up a storm on it they have hyped it up a little bit like Blizzard likes to do they said that they have better end game it's going to be uh, more replayable right now how you know you're grinding over and over again trying to find items there's going to be new features on new ways of finding items and uh, new game modes and um, also, they just said it's a more rewarding experience uh, to do Endgame. So hopefully that is true, but I'm pretty excited for that nonetheless. Um, one other thing that's new is the Paragon system is going to be changing. And the way it is is whenever you get a Paragon level, you're going to be obtaining points. And those points you can use to customize your stats on your character, which I think is really cool. You can customize defensive stats or like base stats or attack stats, or which I'm, I'm guessing is going to be like crit, attack speed, crit damage. Um, so I think that's a pretty cool concept that they're doing that. It adds some customization to the characters because that's one thing that you was definitely lacking in uh, Diablo 3 is the just almost no customization. Everybody pretty much used the same builds. I mean, right when the Whirlwind build came out for Barbarian, that's pretty much what Barbarian used for the entire game. And it's sad to see something like that happen. You want to have some more customization. So hopefully with that, there are going to be more customization. With that said, though, it doesn't look like there's any kind of talent tree or any kind of special way of customizing your skills though. Now there may be more information that comes out but I think that's something that's definitely going to be needed. Um, I put together a huge list of things that I think that should be in the expansion and maybe I'll release that in a future video if you guys are interested. Maybe Blizzard will see it and we'll get some stuff out there. Also may remember to leave your comments down below with what you would like to see in the expansion. So that way if Blizzard sees this video and I'm going to send it off to them so hopefully they will see it then maybe whatever you know you guys say will uh maybe they'll they'll pick it um so
The next thing as well too is the, and also with the Paragon leveling system, just one last tip for you there, is if you're not Paragon 100 yet, get on it because uh, you're going to be behind. You want to have that extra bonus stats, right? When you hit, when you go into the new expansion, you're leveling from 60 to 70, which I believe is a new cap. Uh, you definitely want that. So get on it now. I mean, with the new mob density, there's no excuse you can't hit 100. I, I even made a video teaching you how I did it in less than three weeks on a Demon Hunter, which is a very slow leveling class compared to like Whirlwind Barbs. So if you're if you're a barb right now and you're not Paragon 100, it's so easy. You can just spin and win, man. That's all you gotta do. Okay, next. Now, from what I saw from the footage, as you're seeing behind me, the game looks like it has a more darker feel to it, which is really cool. It gives you that essence of evil, and I think that's a really good idea. I think a lot of people were upset when Diablo 3 came out, and it was kind of cartoonish and too, you know, too bright colored. And they have said that it's going to be a little bit darker game, but at the same time, it's going to have randomized 3D maps. So I guess they're just stepping up the graphics, uh, as the, you would think they would, uh, as new games come out. They're going to step up the graphics but uh, from what I've seen from the footage it doesn't look too much different but we'll see with time to come. Uh, there are these new game modes like I mentioned. Uh, there's a loot run that you can do. I don't know if they're going to call it a loot run or if that's just the code name they're using right now. They'd be kind of dumb if they call it a loot run. Um, they have a Nephilim Trails as well. I don't know if the Nephilim Trails is the new loot run or anything. Like I said information is limited but uh, however uh, if there is something like this and it brings us away from the auction house, that's great. I think that's definitely something that Blizzard play, uh, Diablo 3 players have been really wanting is uh, more customization to their gear, more ways of not using the auction house and finding items so that when you play the game it's a little more rewarding because wow I just found this amazing item and it's going to be really good for my character or maybe it's not going to be good for this character but hey if I customize these stats and everything then maybe it'll be exactly what I need. And that brings me into the next one, which is this new Transmogify thing they're coming out with. Now, Transmogify, that sounds like something World of Warcraft brought in, where you could change the look of your gear and you could customize the gear. I'm pretty much, uh, from what I've seen so far, and don't quote me on anything, it looks like the exact same thing. However, you, you're probably going to be able to customize your gear a lot more than you can in World of Warcraft because they're probably going to be making the items BOA. I've seen a lot of pictures of items being BOA, um, you know, after they've been customized and everything. So uh, we'll see if that's the case. If not, I mean, there might be some items that will be BOA and some that won't. However, they're going to do it. You know, information is limited. Now, the next thing was, from what I've seen so far, there hasn't been any mention of PvP. Is it going to be coming out before the expansion, like the ranking system and everything? Or are they going to wait until the expansion? And if they do, how come they haven't said anything about it yet? Well, I think maybe they're waiting until BlizzCon to talk about something like that, but who knows? As time goes on, we'll find out more information. And speaking of time going on, when is this going to be released? It says on the website, 2014. Uh, however, when I was watching some Q&A sessions with Blizzard developers back before Diablo 3 came out, they had a question and people said, you know, how often are you going to roll out expansions? And they had said that they want to do an expansion every two years. They want it to be a constant progression uh, as you're getting all the way up to level 100, uh, which is probably going to be the the cap in Diablo 3 from what from what they said back way back then things may change though um, but so that means that okay well two years a two-year anniversary of Diablo 3 will be May of next year in 2014 so maybe we'll see it come out around May or June or maybe in the summertime in July or August uh, around that time but that's kind of my guess uh, as far as the beta is, I think they're probably going to wait for any kind of beta type thing until after BlizzCon. So most likely beta for that will probably be released maybe in the beginning of the year, like January or February of next year. I am definitely going to try and get into it as soon as possible. I'm going to try and contact any Blizzard employee that I possibly can and say, hey, I promoted your game so much. I've gotten millions of views from your game. I reach out to many people. I love your game. My viewers love your game. Let me get into the beta. I'm sure I won't have a problem, though. I got into the last beta uh, for Diablo 3, and I'm going to get all the footage for you guys, and that's pretty much the last topic.
is the future of Diablo 3 on this channel. As you've noticed, I haven't been playing it as much. There's really nothing going on in the game. I feel like they, I don't know if they're going to wait until, you know, the expansion comes out for the loot patch 2.0 or if they're going to release that when they said they were going to around BlizzCon, but they need to do something big before this expansion comes out. You need to really just grab your players that play this game and say, look how awesome this game is, and guess what? It's going to get even better with the expansion. Instead of like, hey, this game's dying, this game's dying, this game's dying, whoa, it's an expansion. That's not a good way to send off Diablo 3. Blizzard, do it the correct way. Make us come back to this game and enjoy this game because I haven't been able to play it as much lately just because there's really nothing to do. I have all classes level 60. They're all extremely well geared. In the past three or four months, I haven't kept a single gold for myself or a single item for myself. I've given away billions and billions of gold and hundreds and hundreds and thousands of items in the past three, four months because I don't need anything in this game anymore. now anymore. I just farm items for people and there needs to be more right now and then I know we're all looking forward to the expansion. I know I am. Are you guys looking forward to it? What are some things that you would love to see in the expansion? I'd love to know below. I'm going to read every comment. I'll pick my favorite comment in the ep next episode. And maybe next episode, if you want to see it, I'll put out you know some things that I would like to see in the new expansion. Anyways, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. And all the stuff is linked down below if you want to go watch the video trailer yourself. Uh, there's a couple trailers you can watch. And so you don't have to like hear the... You know, you can actually hear the actual stuff going on behind me instead of hearing my voice instead. But, yeah, I'm excited for it. Are you guys, what do you, what would you guys like to see? Let me know. I'd love to read it. I'm Shinobi. Until next time, thanks for watching. Oh, good timing. Paragon 100. Just as it says, go ninja, go ninja, go. Oh, that was perfect timing.